this one. It says an exclusive program. Hello lovelies and welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany Garcia and welcome back if you are a, subscri a returning subscriber and if not, welcome. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. As you know, I do videos regarding interior design, um, motherhood, homemaking, anything that falls under those topics. I love to make content around. Um, so today I have a furniture flip for you that I actually started back in November. And so some of these clips are back before I had my camera. Um, so the quality is not the same, but I definitely wanted to share this flip with you guys because um, yeah, I finally finished it and I sold it at the end of December. And so I figured I should still share. The table that I got was $45. And excuse the baby in the background. The, the table that I got was $45. The chairs were free. And if you want to know how much I made for profit, which was substantial, keep watching till the t keep watching till the end of the video and I will reveal that. So I hope you guys enjoy this furniture flip. I certainly did. It was a lot of fun to flip. And I gotta go because my kids need me. <laughs> but enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end of the video. So here are the pieces I'm working with today. These two were free and a friend gifted them to me. I have not been able to find the replacement peg legs like these. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. But I'm thinking about spray painting these gold and gold to match. And then the top of this is kind of water, um, water damaged. It's a little bit rusted, but it has a really pretty design. So I'm gonna see if possibly I can keep this um but there is some rust here so i'm going to clean them up and see how clean they get and um also you want to make sure if you're sp if you're spray painting things that are like this that you really give it a good degrease because metal tends to hold little you know like fingerprints that are greasy and i've had problems before with paint repelling and then this is the spray paint i'm going to be using um, it is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Bright Reflective Finish. This stuff looks like metal, like shiny metal. It's the best spray paint I have found in gold. It's a really nice color as well. And then I'm going to be doing the top of the table in this white, satin bright white Krylon Fusion. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get any grease fingerprint marks that are not usually visible. So you're gonna want to degrease and clean anything that you're gonna spray paint. I'm just using my Thieves Multipurpose Cleaner and giving everything a really good wipe down.
Okay, so something interesting that I found on here, and I already kind of spray painted over the other one, too bad, but I looked at this one. And the writing looks very 1920s-ish. I mean, I could be mistaken, but it says in compliance with the 1926 Act of the District of Columbia approved July 3rd, 1926. And this says that it is, where is it? It says made by Chromecraft, Cenotopia, Mississippi, but there's no date on it. So Chromecraft was the maker of these chairs. Very interesting. I think I'm gonna tape over this one so it still has the tag visible. I forgot about this one. It says an exclusive Chromecraft. So I thought that's neat. It's cool when furniture pieces have the name of the company on them because you can kind of see what they're worth. Obviously you might not get that much for it unless you sell it to an antique dealer, but that's really neat. Hello, hello, it's the next day and I made some good progress yesterday on these chairs. The legs need another coat of paint. Um, it's a little bit splotchy in some areas, which was to be expected. Um, when things have a little bit of rust, the paint doesn't take quite as well. So to avoid that, you can sand it down, but I didn't take that extra step. Um, <laughs> So there's that. And then this table I haven't started on yet. We'll see how far we get today. I had to do some morning chores and Addie was starting to make some fussing noises, but she's still sleeping. So we'll see how far we get. Um, I found out though, I looked back in my Facebook marketplace and I paid $45 for this table. Now that seems a little pricey to me, but I do think it is original to the era. Those chairs are original to the era, so. I'm not sure how old this table is though. I'm guessing it might be older than the 50s because of the style, the hairpin legs. I don't know, let me know what you think. When do you think this table was made? I might check underneath and see if there's any labeling because then that kind of helps you figure out how old something is and what it should be priced. Like that set of chairs I found out yesterday from their Crumbcraft original chairs. Um, I found out that a set of them um, goes for several hundred dollars but I only have two but they're matching but the ones that I found were the same style with the same exact um vinyl so we'll see I'm very interested to see how much I can get for this set furniture piece two colors like I'm painting the top white and I'm painting the legs um, gold and they touch meaning I'm gonna have to mask one of the two off to not get paint on them once I move on to that area I'm gonna paint the top white first because where it joins the legs it'll be easier to mask off the white and paint gold than it will be to mask off the legs and paint white if that makes sense I'll show you a video of what I mean. So what I mean by what I was saying is I'm going to paint this white first and that way if I get gold if I get white spray paint on this leg and then I spray paint this gold later once this dries if I mask it off I just have to mask this and this because this is a round surface it's harder to do that. So I hope that makes more sense but I'm going to wait really well for the white paint to dry first. 
And like I was saying, I'm gonna try to conserve the pattern. Okay, we're good to go. Now, because I am not painting, let me talk right here. Because I'm not painting um, the corners, and I'm not sure if this white is exactly the same as the table, I'm hoping that it is. I'm going to really try to um, fade it out near this, like I'm not gonna spray directly over the tape line. I'm gonna fade it out into this area so that Especially so that when I peel the paint, the tape back, there's not like this harsh, like line when I take the tape off. Also, let me move this because we just painted this black, and I don't want to get overspray on my black wall. <laughs> It's the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake, it's the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Take down your walls and let me Roberto's making fun of me because my idea didn't work. I'm not making fun of you. I'm you can definitely it's, tell that it's like it doesn't look very really good. So I'm probably gonna have to sand the edges down a little bit and respray paint right here. So let's remove the other one, shall we? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a different white and it's a different tone. I know. Well, it might have been this white paint, originally, but it's so old. The paint looks like an eggshell. Yeah. This looks like a flat. No. No, this is shiny, right? No, this looks like gloss. Too bad because it's really pretty and it looks really vintage. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so a little setback. No big deal. It'll be fine. White will still look really good with the chairs. Too bad though because that's really vintage looking, but it'll be fine. Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said See it in your mind Trust that Have what it takes inside Cause you can make it Yeah. 
splatters of gold paint right here not only that the paint was chipped and when I took the tape off it peeled all this off so my edge is not straight what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some acrylic paint and paint the side panels white um, real quick and that can be wet while I take pictures so that's not a big deal um, as you can see this table I think was a desk actually um, or sometimes they use these as like bread, bread, bread tables, kneading tables in kitchens. Um, at least that's what I saw online. And I centered this table with my chandelier right here. I have the pretty little clock in the background. I'm going to move her high chair out of the way. Um, and then I'm going to style it maybe with my, my um, stuff that I have right there to make it look kind of vintage and pretty. I really like how it looks. I'm going to paint that real quick and then I'll be back to take photos. First things first, when you take staging photos, turn your lights on and take them during the day if you can. Open the blinds as much as possible. Okay, and then you're gonna style your pieces. Okay, so slight technical difficulty here. I film all my videos on my phone, so I can't show you how I take photos because I'm gonna be filming myself taking photos, if that makes sense. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to do it. Oh, I know what I'll do. I will screen record my phone as I take photos and I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna stand over here from about this distance. Obviously, I'm gonna have that all cleaned up. Um, but I'm gonna try to take the photo sideways, so like this to give it a good angle. Um, I'm gonna take it one from here. I'm gonna do all sides. So I'm gonna do this side, or I might just do some sides. I'll do, I'll do at least one, one of the sides um, that's shorter and one that's longer. I'll do, not this side, but I'll do this side because of the pretty blue wall. So you wanna think about what's around when you're taking your photos. Make sure everything is off the floor, everything is off the surfaces. Anything that you can see in the background is clean. Um, obviously because my side of this room is very dirty and messy. So a photo from this angle and then I'll probably do a photo from either this angle or that angle, okay? All right, now I'm gonna show you screen recording of me taking the photos so you kind of know what I'm doing. This is kind of fun. Kind of figured it out together. Here we go. We're switching to voiceover mode um, because I didn't realize you can't do screen recording and record at the same time. Or maybe you can, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that with my phone. So when you take photos, like I was pointing to the top of the table there, I try to line it up so that everything is um, straight in the photo. And then I try to get um, pictures of all the different elements. So right now I'm going to get pictures of the chairs by themselves, side by side. Line them up nice and pretty, have a nice background. Make sure everything is visible in the photo from the top to the bottom and then snap your picture. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, things always look better and they sell better when there is very detailed photos. So like for here, I'm showing that some of the feet are missing, um, like the little, like the cushion part. Um, so I was just pointing that out so that the customer who buys it is aware that it's missing that. And then you're gonna wanna take photos of all your pieces without any staging on them so that the customer can see exactly what it looks like. You're also going to want to get an overhead view of your furniture, especially if it's a table, because you want the customers to be able to see um, what the quality is. 
Here I'm getting a nice side view so they can see that there's a cutout. And then, uh, oh, Addie was in the way right there. <laughs> I needed to move her. Um, and then turn the lights back on. I was turning the lights back on because I turned them off to avoid the glare. So you just want to get basically photos from every, every single angle so that people know what they're buying because they can't see it until they buy it, right? Um, there was a little um, imperfection right there, a little tear a little bit of scratching. So you want to detail all of that. And you, I'm showing that the vinyl is a little loose on the bottom. And then um, just a little bit of fading on, of the vinyl. So that was the chairs. Now I'm going to show the part that was a little bit imperfect with the paint on the table where I had to retouch it up. And then I'm putting the whole um, dining table situation back together and getting another nice photo without the staging on it. And then I'm getting an angle one as well because those are nice to have. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. And now I'm going to switch over to how I list my items and how do I know what to list them for. So you're going to see me typing in a whole bunch of different variations of names for things to see what people have listed them for to get kind of a good range of what they sell for so in Facebook marketplace you can actually do this and then under the settings tab you can search for um, and select sold so as this one showed it was like a hundred oh my screen is so tiny I think it was like 125 and then this one is like a hundred for the whole set but it was four chairs so because mine had the chrome craft chairs i'm going to be listing it a little bit higher than average because those chairs are vintage i know that they're original because of the tags um like i showed earlier and then i'm just going to want to detail the title with as many keywords as possible so that when people search for something similar um they can find it now the lady who ended up buying this was looking specifically for a green inspired um, or green colored and gold colored table setting so this was perfect for her because did you see how i listed it with the colors oh and i didn't know how to spell vinyl <laughs> she ended up buying it because of the color it was so it was really good that i had that in my title description as well as i listed it under the colors now as far as description goes i am letting everyone know that i'm selling them as a set i will not separate them um, and I'm letting them know the details that I actually painted the, the, the legs because I don't want people to think that that is, you know, bronze or that it's a little bit more of a durable material. If that makes sense. So then you select your photos, all of the important ones. Um, the, the main ones I usually will put through a filter to make them look brighter and it'll make them look a little bit uh, more professional. Then you select your area that you're in. And make sure you select, um, if you're not doing delivery, un uncheck that, and then you post it. And so it will take a little bit for it to be published, because um, they'll usually go through and, um, and look at it, and it'll say it's in review. So that's the end of it. All right, I needed to hop back on here because I realized I never closed it out once I sold the table. Come here, Addie. Come here. Come here. Um, so I just needed to tell you how much I sold the table for, how much I listed it for. I think I originally listed it for like $200, um, which I think was fair considering that, you know, they were original chairs and everything. Um, so I did not end up selling it for 200. I brought the table down in price and the chairs like five times. And I had people keep messaging me about it, asking me, is it still available? Several people said, hey, I'll come get it. They never showed. And that's very, very typical for um, Facebook Marketplace. It is very challenging to get people to buy sometimes. Um, if you list high, you tend to get more serious offers. But in this case, I definitely did not. So I made a profit of $120, which is not bad considering that the amount of time that I put into it was not even 10 hours. It was very minimal, very easy to just spray paint and clean up the pieces. So if this is something that you're interested in doing, you can definitely do it. It is so easy to flip furniture. A lot of it comes down to just knowing how to stage things properly and clean things up, take good photos, and your pieces will sell for much more than you actually get them for. I have another one that I'm working on right now 
and I just finished one last week so that video will be coming out soon and then this week's video will be coming out soon I just have to get caught up on like previous things that I filmed last year I think I have like one more video from last year which was my laundry renovation video laundry makeover I guess so anyways that will be coming out soon thank you so much for joining me today and I am so happy to have you here if you like anything related to motherhood interior design or homemaking content I make all three of those things on my channel and I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and I will talk to you very soon bye guys